We are now on the fourth week of Lent, of the season of Lent. And uh, maybe God loves us so much as our gospel yesterday, yesterday uh, told us that He sent His only Son into the world in order to save us. And that is why God is giving us time, more time. And we are now on the fourth week of Lent. Maybe chances for us in order to ask God and pray to God that we will be reconciled with one another and with our God. I think that is one of the most important preparation for us in celebrating, preparing for the coming Easter celebration. But for us Filipinos, one of our greatest practices is what we call Visita Iglesia, di ba? And especially during this season of Lent, we go from one church to another church. We go in pilgrimage. And that is why I am happy that we have some pilgrims from uh, the parish of San Agustin in the Diocese of San Pablo together with their parish priest. And uh, certainly when we go to churches, especially shrines and basilicas, we pray and uh, for the information of our pilgrims and church goers here in the Maino Basilica and Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, this church is known for a praying church, petition, church of petitions and prayers and that is why Manawa is famous for its candles maraming maraming mga tao ang may daladalang kandila upang magsindi ng kandila in order to pray as part of their prayer sending of their petitions, sending of their prayers to God. Kaya, pagpasok pa lang ng mga pilgrims, sa parking area pa lang, marami na mga kandila inong offer. Ingat lang tayo kasi kung minsan tinataga tayo ng mga barkers, ng mga vendors, Doble ang kanilang mga uh, hinihingi. But what is important is that we have those candles for our prayers. And we pray. And a lot of people pray in this church. And a lot of people also are thanking God through Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Kaya kuminsan sa mga messages na natatanggap ko, maraming maraming nagpapasalamat. Father, salamat sa prayers, sa mga intentions, sa tulong nyo na makapakasa ako sa board exam, sa bar exams, makatanggap ng trabaho, at higit sa lahat, 
gumaling at gagaling sa sakit. In our gospel this morning, a certain official met Jesus in the temple or might be in the synagogue where Jesus prayed. And his son is near death according to him. And Jesus told him, Sir, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Miracles. That is why some people even asked for more signs, for more miracles. And most probably Jesus knew them for entertainment only and not really asking for the favor that only God can give. But this officer simply says, Sir, come down before my child dies. Siguro talagang naghihingalo na yung kanyang anak. Kaya baliwala yung parang insulto sa kanya. Ang mahalaga para sa kanya ang buhay ng kanyang anak. And for that matter, our Lord told him, You may go, your son will live. We might find ourselves in the same situations here. Marami sa atin ang nagdarasal, humihingi ng tulong sa Diyos, humihingi ng tulong sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, and that is precisely why we come here in her shrine, in her mind, in this minor basilica in order to ask God some immediate favor that we need in our life. Siguro, yung iba sa atin nagdarasal para sa kanilang mahal sa buhay na may taning na ayon sa doktor. Na matagal na na nag sa suffer. O yung iba sa atin siguro talagang Mawawala na ng bahay. Mawawala na ng hanap buhay. Immediate. True need. Kaya lumalapit tayo sa Diyos. Siguro ano mang sabihin ng Diyos sa atin, baliwala natin. But what we believe, what we hope for, what we trust in God will happen in our life as we pray inside this shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. And for that matter, Jesus might be will tell us before we leave this church. Come down. Come down. You may go. Your loved one whom you pray will live. You may go. What you prayed will be given to you. But before that, we must believe to what we pray. We must believe to what God will give us.